Welcome to Nursing School Explained and this final and fifth video of the nursing process series where we go into looking into more detail into the evaluation phase of the nursing process. So during evaluation, we examine the nursing care that we've provided and we basically get feedback how we have done getting our patient better. So we compare the achieved effect with the patient goal and expected outcomes. We will reassess our patient by performing a physical assessment, looking at the vital signs and any pertinent lab and diagnostic data that we have already looked at in the assessment phase, but now we see how this compares to the initial data that we've gathered. And then we're going to evaluate if the problem is the same, has it got better or has it got worse? Of course, the goal is always to get the patient better. And then the important part here is to recognize any unmet goals. Now, if we identify that there are some goals that we haven't met, then we have to maybe go back and revise the plan of care. Either revise the goal or reassess and find out what other problems there might be or revise the interventions if the interventions that we have taken didn't get us the expected outcome and didn't have us meet the patient goal. Now, if this happens, if we have to revise the plan of care, we basically go back to the steps of the nursing process. We reassess the patient, we redefine the goals, redefine the priorities, reestablish the goals, reformulate the interventions, and reevaluate the plan of care. So you can see everything is labeled here, steps one through five, which basically goes through the nursing process again. One after the other will just methodically follow the process until we arrive back at the reassessment. Now, if we apply this evaluation phase to the example that we've been following, with the patient's problem being the oxygenation and our goal was to maintaining the oxygen saturation greater than 95%, then we've taken our interventions. Now, for the evaluation, if our O2 sat is between 95 and 97%, during our shift, then we have met our goal, and we come back here and we say the patient is better, check that off, and move on to the next problem that we have identified. However, scenario number two, if we come back here and the O2 set now has been 93%, that means we haven't met our goal of greater than 95% during the shift. So now we have to go back and reassess the patient and go through all the different steps. So maybe now during the reassessment, I go back and I assess all these physical assessment findings as well as the labs, and I find out that the patient's hemoglobin and hematocrit are 8 and 25, which will mean that the patient is anemic. Now, if the patient doesn't have enough oxygen carrying capacity in their bloodstream, then it's going to be hard to meet that oxygen saturation. But replenishing the blood cells was not part of my interventions here. So maybe in addition to administering oxygen, I now need to add the administration of packed red blood cells to replenish the patient's uh, blood supply and the blood flow to help with the oxygenation. So in summary, it is a fluid process that we always go through. We're constantly reassessing, we're constantly reevaluating, we're constantly looking at the goals and the interventions to get the patient to meet these goals, to get them better and get them out of the hospital. Uh, so thank you for watching this series on the nursing process and the five different steps. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram, so you can stay on top of the latest videos, as well as check into some of the quizzes and other hints and uh, helpful stuff that I have on there. Thanks for watching Nursing School Explained.